opinion here and there. I don't know, I'll try it with the stock one and see what happens. But uh, yeah, oh my god, super happy about this. Hey guys, well, thank you for watching the video and thank you for enjoying this moment of complete clarity and complete enjoyment and fulfillment of opening up this giant. Hey guys, welcome back to Large Scale RC Nation. This is your host, Brandon. We we're just sitting down watching Smith Studios. Got some great content. But anyways, we got a package at the front door. There's only one thing it could be. So let's jump over here and check it out. I'm super stoked about this. Oh yeah! TLR, can you guys guess what it is? Man, I forget how big these packages are. All right, guys, let's open up this box and see what we got. All right, guys, let's tear into this box. Let me get my box cutter out. Are you ready? I think I should have got a bigger box cutter. All right, ladies, let's check it on out. Here's what we've been waiting for. Low C 5B. We're gonna do a quick unboxing of this and then get ready for a build series. We're gonna go step by step through this build and I'll give you my thoughts and some pit tips on certain things to do while doing this build. So here's the very front of the box. As you can see, nice picture of the 5B. And let's go ahead and check out the rest of the box. And here we have the back of the box and all the different languages. As you can see, it says that it is a purpose belt race chassis. It has heavy duty brakes, dual steering servo radio tray, which the 5T and 5T 2.0 only have a single. Uh, it has the racing body and wing, aluminum clutch carrier and center diff cases. And that's actually what put the 5B on hold was the center diff cases. Uh, they didn't have the materials to build those. That was the cause of the long delay. And here we have the hard anodized aluminum shocks and shock towers from TLR Racing and a one piece glue style wheel. So let's go ahead and tear into this box and check it out. So on the top of the box, we have TLR Team Losi Racing. Let's open up these seals. I have not even been in here yet, so you're gonna unbox this with me. And inside, the first thing on top is going to be the new body. It's the forward cab from TLR. And uh, we'll go ahead and do a paint series on this, just like we did with the truck. I'm going to go with the same scheme. Next, we have uh, the side plastic pieces that go along the chassis. Um, if you're going to do any type of racing, I recommend taking a hole saw and you'll drill out holes. This will make this lighter. It will allow any dust inside of the cab to escape also the heat. And you can use uh, the holes that you drill out for uh, basically washers for the top of the truck body. And um, it, it secures it from, from breaking through. Here we have the wing 
It also has the enclosed wheel nuts, some hardware, body pins, and that's going to be bag H. Next up we have bag G. This is going to be the top cover for your engine uh, that will protect your cylinder head. Um, Brian Sullivan Labs makes a beautiful carbon fiber heat shield that bolts to this and goes around the header of your exhaust pipe, which will displace the heat from getting onto your battery tray and electronics, uh, which is kind of an issue with the 5B. Uh, looks like we also have uh, the fuel lines in here, uh, the gear mesh inserts uh, for 22, our, our air filter, And a couple other things, but I can't see. So we'll find out when we dig into it. Next, we have our big wheels. Those are probably about six to seven inches around fully. Some big tires. These are already pre-glued so you don't need to glue them on. I uh, do recommend running bead locks if you're going to do any type of racing. Next we have uh, bag C. This is going to have your center diff carrier, the diffs in here, your spur gear, your brakes, and some of the linkage for your brakes. So it looks like everything for your center diff. Next we have bag A. This is gonna be your fuel tank and also the brackets for the fuel tank and your chassis brace. Some bearings. And looks like some of the steering some stuff for the steering. Next is bag F. This is gonna be your servo and battery tray. And what I do love about this, it has the aluminum TLR heat shield on it. People uh, change this with, with other stuff or wrap it with some heat shield tape, stuff like that. Here's our tools. It comes with uh, wheel wrench, Allen wrenches, some blue and red Loctite. That's really nice to have. Turnbuckle wrenches and a couple other tools in there. So this is gonna be bag E. This is gonna have all of our shocks. Shock bodies, pistons, springs, everything you need for your shocks. Next we have bag D. This is a big and heavy bag. It looks like it's gonna be our dog bones, A arms, our knuckles, shock towers. This is a pretty heavy bag. Let's see what else we got in here. Yeah. Looks like just mostly all of the suspension. There's also some fluid, fluid weights in there. And we have bag B. This is going to be also suspension, A-arms, um, sway bar, churn buckles, um, kind of hard to tell in here, diff case. Next we have the chassis. 
These are prone to bend, so there is a couple guys that make a rear chassis brace. In fact, uh, my buddy designed something that covers all the way up to here towards the engine. And so I'm gonna have Bart alone, see if he can make something like that as well to make it stiffer. And that should be a good product and help you guys out from bending your chassis. So here's our chassis. And last in the box is gonna be our manual, some sticker, uh, antenna tube, and that looks like it with some window masking. So that's everything inside of our 5B box. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in, store it and get it ready for the build. All right guys, so here you have the unboxing of the 5B. All you need to do is install your favorite electronics, engine, and a few other accessories like a kill switch to get this thing up and running. Um, I definitely recommend if you're new to run the 5T, it's ready to run. You can learn on that truck and dial it in the way you want. And then once you're used to working on it from breaking parts and other stuff like I did, uh, you can get yourself the 5B. Uh, but if you rather have a buggy, you can follow along with me on my build series, which is gonna start next. And we'll go bag by bag. Um, definitely super stoked to have this. I've seen them out there running and love the way that they handle uh, shout out to Chris Higa from TLR Racing from designing this. Um, happy that it's finally back in stock. So I want to give a huge shout out to Steve over at DDM. Uh, they did a great job of always having parts that we need. And also it helps out having free shipping, no tax if you're in California. And also for bringing these bad boys out of discontinue. Um, they became a huge hit lately and they ran out. So they foot the money to bring these back in stock for us to enjoy. So thank you DDM and thank you Steve for all that you do for the sport. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the Low C5B. I hope you enjoy all the content that we put out there. We're gonna be putting in a tons more. Uh, had that short little break, but now we're digging in deep. Um, hope you enjoy the unboxing of that low C5B right there behind me. And please like, subscribe, and share. Look forward to more content of the Build of Rose.